Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a sweet and sour chicken. We did it from scratch. We did it griddle style. My wife loves it. I haven't even tried it yet. You guys wanna see how we knock it out of the park? Boom. Here we go. All right, it took us started. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. It should be an easy video, just a multiple, multiple, multiple steps. The idea, take some chicken breasts, we're gonna velvet those. We got our traditional vegetables, onions, bell peppers, a little uh, pineapple. We're gonna make that sweet and sour sauce. If you guys are interested, we made a fantastic crispy garlic rice. I've got some more jasmine rice going. Jasmine rice is my favorite. Basically, we just took the rice, added some garlic, uh, kept it on the griddle for a little bit longer, a little bit higher heat to get that crispness, mixed it up together and just called it good. That is fantastic. With a little spicy uh, sweet chili stuff, it's really good. All right, so first things first, we're going to start velveting the chicken. It's gonna take the longest. And that'll give us plenty of time to make the sauce and prep the vegetables. We just got two standard chicken breasts here and I'm just looking to try to cut these up in chunks to make it a little bit more even. So however you figure to do that, that is up to you. Just kind of looking for bite-sized pieces. Chicken's cut up. I'm just going to separate an egg. Keep those egg whites. Add just a couple dollops of soy sauce. Give that a mix. Go and give that a mix. Get all that chicken nice and wet. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of cornstarch. Give that a mix again. And then we'll refrigerate this. And while this is going, we can prep the rest of our stuff. Looking good already. With the bell peppers, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna cut them up kind of like big wise, just like that, okay? We have a quarter of a massive onion. So small onion, large onion, however much onion you want. Got one of those grocery store style pineapples is already cut for you. Just do a little trim work around here. Same thing with a pineapple, add as much or as little as you like. If you notice half of it's missing because we made a Hawaiian ribeye, uh, a few days ago with pineapple, we did that crispy fried rice and it came out absolutely fantastic. In-laws liked it, wife liked it, kids hated it. And that's a perfect goal as a father, <laughs> just to make something your kids don't like. We're gonna make our homemade sweet and sour sauce, two large cloves of garlic. Sugar, ketchup, touch of soy sauce apple cider vinegar, ginger, six ounces of pineapple juice, 100%. Give that a mix, and that is our sweet and sour sauce. One thing I'm gonna caution you about, because we've talked about it in the past with other recipes that are similar, we've done the bourbon chicken that you guys seem to absolutely love, and we've also done the orange chicken, equally as good. You have to remember that when you're doing a sauce, a lot of recipes will call for a thickening agent like cornstarch. If you add all the cornstarch with your slurry at once, you gotta remember how much volume goes on the griddle and how much evaporation happens. So you, I typically do about 50% because once you start reducing on the griddle, you don't wanna over thicken things, right? Your griddle can do a lot of thickening for you. So I'm gonna be very careful with the amount of slurry I add. I've only got about a half of a tablespoon, just a little bit of water and we're gonna add that in. Let all those sugars dissolve and set that to the side and that will be good. You can see there just in that quick short time that the uh, chicken absorbed a lot of that. Straight cornstarch looking like half a cup to a cup. I don't want too much. It's probably about half a cup. And then we're just gonna dredge the chicken in that. Ooh. And while you're doing it, make the biggest mess you can because you're not the one cleaning it up. <laughs> Yeah, half a cup look good on that one. So we did this with the Mongolian beef too. And it was amazing. Yeah, that crispy beef. 
just one of those texture things, you know, it just changes it. I know this might not be traditional for uh, sweet and sour chicken, but it doesn't mean that it's not good. So we're gonna work on that shallow fry method. My oil likes to go to the back right, which is perfect for this method because I can pull it back up if I need to. All right, that chicken's coming up. That new landing spot. Don't need as much oil because you can always use that residual oil left over. See that nice crispiness on there? All right, just working my griddle. Just getting it ready to go. You can see I've got everything moved up here because it's the way my griddle funnels. So I'm able to catch that little extra layer of grease up there, the oil, kind of like a little shallow fry. What I call a hedge in my bet. I don't want the vegetables cooked too long. I want some like uh, some body to them because it's going to take a while for that sauce to reduce. So, uh, low, medium, low, because I want to be able to get that sear zone right here when that sauce hits it. So, really quick because I've tasted the sauce. So I know my vegetables can handle some salt. Add a little black pepper. And here we go. Batches at a time, don't overdo it. Mmm, golly, it smells so good. It, it smells exactly like sweet and sour chicken. Well, that's a good thing. I'm just throwing down that leftover garlic crispy rice because I'm telling you, we loved it. So that's what we're gonna have. We have a little white rice too if we need it. All right. The reason why you don't want this to completely cover your whole griddle at once, I talked about earlier the evaporation, the reducing, the condensing. If you notice here, your sauce is really getting the hammer to it, right? But inside of it, you can see like over here, it's cooler. That's why you gotta balance your thickening agent with your griddle uh, technique. So if you notice over here, the more I push it, the more it reduces. Because this is the hotter side of the grill. Typically, right before I'm done, I always just save just a little bit, and then that's going to go on there. We're going to toss it, and that's going to be done. Jasmine rice, same rice, just not fried with garlic and chili oil and all that other stuff. So, just kind of depends on what kind of mood you're in. I like them both. Is that a lunch portion of one? Golly, that looks amazing. The pineapples, the peppers, that glaze on the chicken. Let's see if we can just get a little bit more glaze. And then top it in with a little greenery, just so you can say you had a vegetable today. And there we go, sweet and sour chicken with a little bit of twist, done griddle style. All right, so while I'm in there working, of course, washing dishes, cleaning up. I was She's out here snacking. Miss Photography over here. Eat without me. Like Norma, I make it and she eats it. All right. She says it's outstanding. It is amazing. <laughs> it is so good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. Mm. I mean, it tastes like legit sweet and sour chicken. White rice or garlic rice? I haven't tried it with rice yet. 
That garlic rice though is super good. If you haven't seen how we did the garlic rice, it is one of our favorites. You can even take uh, like Chinese take home, bring it home, doctor it up yourself for more flavor. We've done that in the past, or you can make it yourself. I'm telling you that garlic with the butter, and really, honestly, this was just two chicken breasts. This is not even all it made. Oh, we yeah. have a whole another bowl. Yeah, talking about stretching a family. Stretching the dollar. You could easily feed four people. Oh, yeah. Add more vegetables if you wanted to. Yeah. It's, it's super good, isn't it? Two things I get right away. How good the sauce is. Versus like how similar in your mind you think it should taste like it literally tastes exactly what you think it would and how tender the chicken is yeah so that velveting might be a a standard a when doing stuff like this yeah mm. absolutely all right i'm going to inside enjoy it you got anything to say it's amazing that's all you got to say i mean it is so good <laughs> <laughs> if you this. like sweet and sour chicken you will like this all right, guys, you know what to do. As always, check us out on Instagram or check us out on Facebook, The Griddle Group. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. I can't believe that the sauce is so good, especially when you try to make it your own. It is so good. Or from scratch, like you're just trying to guess, like, hey, put this in there, put this I in know. there. You guessed right.